Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome for the Saturday stream. Uh, we're going to be playing some Cyrus today, as I'm sure that you've seen from the old, uh, whatchamacallit there, the, uh, the stream title. So who do we have in chat today? Hello, Cyruscus. Uh, I can't play you. Uh, that's, that's what you think. That's, that's, that's exactly what you think, friend, but, uh... You're about to be proven wrong. So, hello, uh, Cyruscus. Hello, Epic Gamer 13. Hello, Brett. Hello, uh, Nick. I don't know what your name is. Hello, Nick. And hello, CSA, whatever your name is. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, what type of map type do we have? I think we're just going to play on continents. Or should we change it up? I don't know. Well, let's go continents and islands. Why not, right? And we're going to leave everything. Well, I had one more city state because I love to do that. And let's go. Hello, Akos, as well. <laughs> Our Saxy Horton heaven, hallowed be thy restarts, yes. That's the, uh, the Lord's Prayer whenever it comes to my channel. From the first stirrings this shall provide good background noise, ah, see. The great Perfect. To man taking his first <laughs> <laughs> Cyrusicus! <laughs> you can't say that, man. I hope America's in the game and drone strikes a great general of yours. Oh, it's so not okay. But it's so funny. One of those things that's just, you know, immediately demonetized on YouTube for that one, probably. Alright. This spawn is kind of, kind of terrible. It's actually not that bad, I guess. Uh, what do you think? Should we make it work? Um, alright, here's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm just gonna go back to save one. I think I, I'm, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with the spawn for a little bit, at least. Um, I just, I just wanna move, I don't wanna turn three settle, because I can turn two, because I wanna settle to the right of the river, so I'll just move there and turn two settle. From the first restarting, alright, well, technically, technically not a restart just yet, but still. You can't say that, proceeds to say that, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it just do be like that. Hey, Tells Rob, how's it going? Oh, Tells Rob, your name is Green. I forget. Is uh, is like that just what what members get their names? Is it just Green? I I never remember. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, there's even no, oh, there's some mountains here too. Okay, I don't, I do not hate this spawn. I guess we go animal husbandry. We're playing Cyrus, so we're gonna go early war. So we're gonna go the warrior first instead of the scout. Lots of coast here. I'll take coast because that means seaside resorts later on if we decide to go for a Kulturvik. Soft restart. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a re-roll. It's just a restart. Oh, Canal City right there. Or right there, I guess. And plenty of salt as well. Interesting. And we're just going to immediately go for the Settler because that's what I do. Hey, Connor. How's it going? I think, are we on our own little continent here? I think we are. That's kind of lame. Not gonna lie, I might restart if we're on our own continent, because what's the fun of playing Persia if you can't just immediately attack somebody? <laughs> the main export of Saxi civilization. Yes, salt. The wicked king oh, well. The lovers. We found Jerusalem. So when in doubt, we could always just Deus Vault over uh, Jerusalem and take the Holy Land. You know, maybe maybe it's not a terrible idea. Alright, let's get some policy cards here. The same ones that I pretty much always take. We also are the first people to have met Jerusalem, so I would assume that there's probably nobody else on this continent. Alright, so... I guess we'll put a city here. And then that kind of gets all of that. One, two, three, four... Maybe another one here. One, two, three, four. Maybe another one here. One, two, three, four. And then maybe five. Hmm. Wait, oops. One, two, three, four. Can we fit one right there? I think this. I think one fits there. Do one there. One, two, three, four, five. Over there. We'll put one on the lake there. Planning out those cities. <laughs> Retake it. Uh, see, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Cyrus. Because... 
So what's Cyrus's traits or play style? So normally whenever you play Cyrus, you want to go for early war. Oh, I've, okay, we're just friends, I guess. <laughs> um, this game is a little bit different just because there's nobody very close to me, so it's kind of hard to go for early war, just because you, uh, you get bonuses to your surprise wars, which is really good. Um, so we're probably going to end up just taking Jerusalem, because why not? Um, so that's probably what our game plan is. Then after that, we are probably going to want to go and like attack Gilgamesh. The problem is, he's probably going to get so far ahead in science that we're not going to be able to kill him. So that is a little bit of an issue, but we'll uh, just kind of see see what happens here. Cyrus is one of those people that can play uh, passive because he, he is very good at culture victory as well. So the reason he's good at culture victory is because of the Pairi Da Eza, which gives extra appeal to the tiles that are around it. So that's really good just because it makes it so that you can get really good seaside resorts, which also happens to be very convenient because we have a lot of like flatland coast tiles. Can we get a free settler? We can. We're just going to take that. Honestly, like I think that the, the free settler one is probably my my new favorite pantheon, even over Divine Spark. So this is going to be like big time settler spam, this game. I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> there must be a barman camera down on the tundra or something. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're not going to be able to put a canal city here, are we? Ooh, that guy's almost dead. Hmm. Bring, 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 bring. All right, let's put a camp there. Let's switch to writing. We can get down at least one early campus. And let's give this guy an improvement. Settle this city up here. A nice canal city. Even though it doesn't really matter that much. We're going to go for a monument there just to get our culture up a little bit. And we boosted bronze working, which is actually pretty good. Um, I think I want to... I'll put a mine here, but then I'm going to send this guy over there, I think. Oh, somebody else built Temple of Artemis already? What the heck? Is this deity? This is. Indeed it is. In deity it is. Bum, bum, ba -dum. I'm amazed that somebody has built Temple of Artemis already. That's, that's normally not a wonder that goes this fast early on. Oh, well that's kind of... Irritating. I didn't really want to get the boost to craftsmanship because I'm gonna get it anyways because I have a builder already out. Is that a good spot for Temple of Artemis? Uh, yeah, it would have been, yes. <laughs> but, like, Temple of Artemis got built before the Great Bath this game. When does that ever happen? Not oh, great. Oh, this is gonna be miserable trying to take this Barb Encampment because I'm gonna get shot by two Quadrims every single time I try. All right, so I'm just gonna not take that barbed cabin right now. How about that? Is easy. And I think right now what the play is is just settlers. Oh, 35 turns for a settler. Oh, okay, maybe not yet. Builders, I guess. Civ must must be a wonder. Yeah, maybe it's China or something. Um, I guess we go masonry. We need battering rams if we want to take Jerusalem. Uh, maybe I'll move... I kind of want to move the Slinger over to the capital, just so that way I can punch those Quadrims whenever they come by. Uh oh is this guy going to take Jerusalem? You can't take Jerusalem, pal. That's my job. It is possible that I guess he's just scouting, but still. Ugh, hiccups. Hello, Anthony. How's it going? Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can, uh... We can definitely give him a... Oh, these guys. <laughs> these guys are gonna take some damage now. Alright, we want early Empire because we want a Settler Spam. Oh, they just killed him. Okay, well, I didn't expect that to happen, but I guess it was very possible. Mahenjadar actually might be good. Mahenjadar is the one that gives the, uh, housing as if you were next to a river for all cities, which is really good. Since we don't have a lot of fresh water over here, we're going to have a lot of coastal cities. And we are playing for a culture victory, so... 
All right, once again, Zettler. Get these cities out as fast as we possibly can. Something just happened. All right, so we have the spot for plus two campus, but once again, still just settlers right now. You don't need battering rams to take Jerusalem. You need faith in the Lord and uh, and stout knights. <laughs> this is correct, my friend. Oh, too bad. Too bad I'm not playing the Romans. Then it would be even more perfect. Hmm. Hmm. All right, into the classical era already. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna make us. Are those pins for future city sites? Yes, they are. Yeah, I, I just I just like to plan out cities very far in advance. That way, I know exactly where to send my settlers and stuff. Oh man, my Hedgedora would be like sick if, for like a Saint Basil city. <laughs> But once again, we don't really want to take it just because it's good for culture victory, which we're going to be going for. So, so we're going to have a city over here somewhere as well. Probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe there. We're going to take Jerusalem. So how many settlers do we have? We have three in production, so that'll get all three of those. And then I think we just take Jerusalem. Hello, barbarians. <laughs> there are way too many of them. We can go, we can put the pasture over there, actually. Let me make sure I want to settle here. And not there. I think I want to settle here. City of Tarsus is down. So, in Tarsus, I'm just going to make, actually, I'll make the battering ram right now. It's going to take 33 turns at the current moment, but that'll, that'll shrink as the city grows. Come back, the first thing I hear is take Jerusalem. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, my guy. Deus vault. Alright, we 100% want um, colonization. I guess we can go with goes right now. We're not even really fighting these barbarians. They're just kind of there. And we can appoint a governor. I think we're going to go... Uh, I didn't actually really want Magnus, but I just appointed him anyways, so it's too late. I probably should have just taken Pingala. Alright, so... Bronze working done as well. Uh, iron working is important. Do we have any iron? It does not appear as though we do. It doesn't appear as though there's any, like, even <laughs> remotely close around. Which actually kind of sucks. Oh no, now the barbarians are going to attack my capital. Go away. Shoo. It's a big lake, though. That's actually a really big lake. <laughs> Imagine if barbarians can coast away. Well, I mean, some of them can. Like the uh, like once once they get to the part where they have like privateers and stuff like that, they they are able to coastal raid, which is really really irritating. Because that's all they do is just spam coastal raid. Mysticism. I'm kind of triggered at the fact that we don't have any iron. Is there really like none? Oh wait, found three results. Oh, <laughs> my hench. What the heck? Three sources of iron next to it? What? That's. Okay, well, that's kind of crazy. Mahenjadaro is just hoarding all of the iron. <laughs> I guess we're going to put a city down here, just because why not? That'll be like a pretty low priority settle, though. Here they come again. Looks like we re need to retake the lemur land, yeah. Mahenjadaro and lemur land over there. Um, I guess we can get horseback riding. We do, we will have horses. We don't have them yet, but we will have them. We'll go volley, just because we are going to use this somewhat of offensively. And another one of these lads. We'll settle, we'll go settle over here because there's the horses over there. And let's make another archer right now. Because I know that Jerusalem has a few units. So we are going to need to get rid of those if we want to attack them. There are a lot of horses around here, I just realized. Like a ton. Since the fix for rebuilding pillage districts, have I changed my stance on pillaging? I... what... what, what is the... What, what even was the fix on... Uh, on pillaging? 
And when did this happen? <laughs> I might be just wistfully out of the loop. Probably because I never used to pillage. Bum 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 bum. We'll declare friendship with Gilgamesh again, just so that way he doesn't kill us. See, he's he's friends with us. Our boy. You're alright, boy. Alright, um, we go warriors now, I think. Or we could move down one tile and get an aqueduct, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, because we are eventually going to get Mahenjadaro, so. And let's build some walls in that city. It's because I don't want to get cheesed by somebody that just walks in there with a single, you know, carable, a barbarian carable that's going to walk in there and probably take the city. Alright, move the archer over. This guy is still just being rude over here. Um, I guess we'll get sailing. Oh, that's a very far out settle. I mean, I guess that'll probably just eventually become our city. I would be kind of surprised if that doesn't even just rebel on its own. I'm going to keep trying to deal with these barbarians while I'm here, I guess. Yeah, like, look, look at how far out that is. That's, like, insane. It's nowhere near his territory. Alright, we're just going to switch to the battering ram in this city because it's going to take us three million more years to finish it over there. Chandra Gupta. Sexy Gandhi. Quicker to rebuild. Can't recall the exact value. Oh, yeah, I uh, didn't even realize that that was a thing. But now that you say it, I guess, like, I think I vaguely remember something like that, but I don't know. So I, I never used to pillage, but I don't know. Like, I, I've, I kind of, I kind of like it sometimes now. If it's, like, a city that's, like, fairly well built that I know I'll be able to rebuild the district in, like, you know, not ten years, then I, then, like, generally I will actually go and pillage now. <laughs> so we have one more settler over there. I guess we're let's build at least one more warrior. And now we'll appoint Pingala. We'll put him over here right now. I'll take open borders. It gets me a little bit of gold. And over here I think I'm gonna buy a trader. And just send it back to get some roads going over here. You have to rush cities early if you go for a culture victory. So you don't have to, but it's generally something that I like to do because then it gives you so much more time to like build theater squares and do things like that because the cities kind of get built up a little bit more. Alright, let's go back to the capital, I think. I mean, guess we, no, we actually can't even reach all the way over to Sparta. All right, now I think we're probably good on those guys. So let's just get more settlers. How many restarts are we sitting on today? We're actually sitting on none. There was one, I guess you could call it like a soft restart because I uh, I reloaded back to turn one just to get the settling spot that I wanted, but that's it. So surprisingly, not as many as we normally have. We're not at 45 yet. Oops, don't declare war on them yet. I feel like Jerusalem knows something's up. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. Why are all these troops here? We also, we, we don't want to get the tech for harbors. Shocked how quickly you can get a huge amount of science, culture, and cash. Barbary Corsairs. Oh my god, yeah, the idea. Uh, Barbary Corsairs are pretty good. Just, uh, like, the, the Ottomans in general are really, really, really nice. How many cities should I have for a science victory? Minimum. Um, how many gov governors are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. <laughs> now, I mean, seven is just, like, a good minimum to have. Um, generally, like, 
cities in Civ 6 are much more valuable than cities were in Civ 5, just because you're not penalized for settling more like you were in Civ 5, so for that reason it's good to just kind of settle as many as you can with the space you have, so like you always want to get out at least like 6 or 7. <laughs> Well, I guess the problem here is that Jerusalem does have quite a few, uh, they've, they've got a lot of units. I'm actually gonna switch. I still want to build more warriors over here, I think. Hmm, I don't know where to put the archers. I guess they're probably okay where they are. Move that guy for right now, though. Oh wait, I want uh, celestial celestial navigation. We are going to go into a dark age next era, which obviously is not exactly ideal. All right, declare war on Jerusalem. They use fault, my friends. Oops, I just accidentally closed the chat. There we go. Chat back up. <laughs> And so we need to get we need to get the battering ram in range, obviously. Which I think we can do by doing this. Yep, just like that. And then we can give two hits to the city here, like so. City still has good amount of combat strength, so it still actually could just, you know, wail into us a little bit. No ancestry hall? Nah, not yet. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put a government plaza. I'm going to put one somewhere in here, because none of these cities in here really have good, like, district spots. But at the same time, it's a pain, because there's all these coffees that are <laughs> that are really just blocking a lot of, like, district spots. Maybe I'll go, like, Gov Plaza there? Would it be better? I guess it'd be better one tile over, wouldn't it? Because then I could go, like, Theater Square... Maybe campus there. Ryman accidentally. See, the problem is, though, then I cover up a lot of my hills, which is, like, my only source of production here. So maybe I do move this over one. I'll get less good district adjacency, but still. It's so definitely theater square. Probably theater square. I don't know. Eh, I have to think about this more. I don't really like any of those yet. Those coffees are just too much in the way. Actually, up here we should get a builder. That's the problem. There's not a lot of production to be had on these lands over here. Oh, okay. They have swordsmen now, so we have effectively lost this war. So we shall back out. Let's just pillage stuff, though. Maybe kill some of their units, at least. Chandra Gupta, what? Where even are you? <laughs> Why did he declare war on me? Uh, okay. Well, this is embarrassing. We can't even kill uh, a city-state. So the city-state has more technology than we do, so that's that's pretty bad. What victory am I going for? I'm going for a culture victory. As you can see, though, things are not exactly going well. Oops, I don't want that. I might actually... We, we uh, might be in restart territory here. I just don't really like all of this junk. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but, like... It's not gonna be fun. <laughs> it's stupid that... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm restarting. That game is honestly perfectly winnable, but I just... I'd rather have more fun. You know what I'm saying? And alas, such is how I stream. Yeah, that's that's like the problem. I don't know. I just didn't get... That's the problem with settler spamming a lot, is that you don't put down any districts or things like that, so then you end up behind a tech, so it's really hard to, like, rush somebody. So, generally, you either want to settler spam or go for, like, a military rush, but I tried to do both, and honestly, it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Unless you have a very weak, like, somebody nearby you. What are these starts? These are weird starts. Oh, that's a nutty campus spot, though. Alright, whatever. 
we'll go for it. At least for now. So since we have a nutty campus spot, that's literally a plus two, one, two, that's a five campus spot right there. And let's see what we have today in store. Still no rivers or anything. I don't know what the deal is with the game not wanting to give me water. Oh, there's a river. That campus spot though, I know, right? So that's a nice campus. Oh, hang on, maybe this is Jerusalem again. Holy mountains. I feel like once again we're not really going to have any spots to go and declare early war on people here, but I don't really care because this is a like a really really defensible start. Oh my god, another. Look at these mountains. This is like ski resort heaven. I think there's a big drought that just hit right there. So we will take that. Oop, there we go. Boosted mysticism. That's like I guess it's fine. This is an interesting start. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but like... Alright, maybe I don't love it that much anymore, because we just met a Manator. Big future plans here. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm sure you can settle right there, probably, but... Don't move any closer than that, pal. So, I think our biggest thing right now is that we want to prevent Nubia from coming over here and stealing our land, like what they're about to do right now. Alright, yeah, you move away. Move away. Move along. Now we just have barbarians that'll just spawn. Which is kind of rude. The bad thing about this start is that there is, like, really no spots for the seaside resorts. I mean, there's a few here. But you generally want, like, a lot of seaside resorts on Persia. Way to steal Settler. Not really. Since this is Deity, she has more combat strength than us, so... She will just, like, kind of obliterate any units that we try to... Th like, if, like if, if I threw the one warrior at her, it would get massacred. It looks like, though, luckily she is moving away, so... The other bad thing is there's really no... I don't know. I might still restart this, just because this is, like... There's no great spots to settle in here, because there's, like, no fresh water. <laughs> So, I don't know. What's what's uh, your opinion, chat? Restart or no restart? I am, I'm going to set up here as well, also. Restart before I go too far? Somebody says no. Because the problem is, I can't attack Nubia early, because I'm playing, because they have Patati Archers, which will just wreck me. And the other thing is, I can't really, like, put down all Seaside Resorts, because I have one, two, three, I have three tiles that are eligible for Seaside Resorts. <laughs> so yeah, restart. There was, chat, chat, chat was very mixed on that one, but restart it is. Best to have fun, yeah, I agree. At least on stream, it's best to have fun. For like some of the other videos, it's best to just roll it and teach people how to play. But whenever it comes to stream, it's just like, man, we're just we're just here to have fun. Speaking of like the analysis videos, the uh, the next one, the next one's not gonna be a win. The next the next one's a loss. Well, not necessarily a loss, but like an, effectively a loss. Oh, this is poop. It was a great defend play so many mountains. Yeah, that, that that would have been a great start for science victory. Because whenever you play science victory, like you like you the terrain itself doesn't really matter, and it just had like a lot of production. So for that reason, it would be great to just sit there and just turtle. But whenever you're playing culture victory, you, you can't like you can sit and turtle, but at the same time you have to have the right terrain to be able to put down seaside resorts and things like that. Otherwise, culture victory gets way more difficult. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's fine. 
It's at least worth taking a look. We have another good campus spot, but... I guess we'll go for the early campus again. Come on, please be coast right here. Is this... Oh, it's a lake. Darn it. Well, I think that's coast over there, though. Did I ever decide on playing other games on stream? Um, define what you mean by decide on playing other games on stream. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I have previously played other games on stream, but... As far as regularly playing other games on stream, I don't know. There must be two barb camps over here, that's rude. So once again, like, I still play a lot of Dota. Like, a lot of Dota. <laughs> but... I don't know. I, like, kind of want to make some Dota guides. The problem is I'm not exactly, like, good enough at Dota. <laughs> well, like, it's, 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 it's not that I'm not good at Dota, but I know that I will be roasted by people if they're like, Oh, your rank's not high enough. How can you even say anything? Like, you know, because that's just how competitive game communities are. Like, you got to get good before you can give advice. But So I'm trying to think of, like, a nice medium there. Oh, hey, Zach. First time catching one of my streams? Well, I'm glad you could stop by. Chandra Gupta again. Hello, Chandra Gupta. Okay, well, in this game, we have a neighbor we can attack. We don't really have any coast for uh, seaside resorts, which is rude, but there is at least some coast. Oh my god. And I would also bet any amount of money that we are going to be attacked by Chandra Gupta. Look at him. He's already, he's already moving his warriors up. Is Persia a good sieve? Yes, Persia is a very good sieve. Does that mean I am good at playing them? No. It's like, like, everybody always seems to say that Gilgamesh is a really good sieve, but I think that Gilgamesh is terrible. I don't know if it's just how I play him or what the deal is, but I am just never able to play Gilgamesh. Oh my god, this is some hills in this land over here. Alright, if I settle one there, so let me think here. Settle there. One, two, three, four. I could settle just literally on the copper there. One, two, three, four. I'll, this one will be five away up there. These are a little space. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's really far away. One, two, three, four. Eh. Maybe I do settle one more down, and then I'll just aqueduct. One, two, three. Does that allow me to settle any more, though? It would technically allow me to put one here, but that's, like, not a great city spot. I'll leave that as is for now, but we'll see. Work hearts are godlike. This is true. Victoria, hello. Now, Victoria might be someone worth attacking. Just because she, unlike Chandragupta, doesn't really get much by the way of early bonuses. Right now, I'm India's best neighbor because I'm distant. Okay, well, that's that's a good thing to hear. Now I am no longer... <laughs> I am no longer distant, though. So, we immediately want to build a slinger there. Because otherwise... Well, I mean, either way, he's probably going to attack us. There's some insane campuses here. We boosted bronze working, which is also actually quite good. Hmm... Alright, um, let's get another slinger, because look who's here, here he comes. Alright, so in addition to that, I'm also going to buy a slinger, I think. We got writing, so we want to get the archery next, just to defend ourselves against Beavis over here, Beavis and Butthead. Who is undoubtedly going to be declaring war on me, probably very shortly. Have I ever thought about doing a 1v1 versus Gandhi starting in the Atomic Era? I have not thought about doing that. However, that does sound like quite the, the entertaining time, so... Who knows, maybe maybe that'll make a future appearance. <clears throat> Alright, settle there. We're gonna want one down here as well. This is really close to Chandra Gupta, though. Hmm... 
Maybe if we're lucky, he'll get scared at my military units. Oh, he has archers already. Oh, that's rude. That's really, really rude, actually. All right, we definitely want some agouge. Um, I guess we'll build another warrior. I mean, maybe we can just go attack him after we fight him. Assuming that we live. <laughs> it's, it's always a good a good starting spot is to make sure that you live. If there are no dogs in all right, we need archery. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, he hasn't declared war on us yet. Maybe next turn he'll do it. I want to kill that. Oh, there it is. Um, will we be able to live, though? That is the question. Honestly, my initial thoughts are probably not. Gonna fort up. This guy's taking a lot of damage. He's in all likelihood going to die. But this will boost archery. So that's good. Can we get a free settler? We can get a free settler. That's also good. And we did just build another warrior to send over. So we're just gonna keep spamming warriors, I think. I want to settle over there next, but that's, like, really risky. But, you know, what? we're going to go for it. Oh, is the city dead? Um, yeah, I think this city is as good as gone. However, maybe not all is lost just yet. I mean, it's, it's definitely not good. Don't get me wrong, but... So, there we go. He's taking the city. How difficult is it for us to take it back, though? Probably quite... Can I get some Fs in the chat for uh, Sousa? <laughs> yeah, we already we already have the uh, the Fs in the chat, I guess. Restart incoming. Yeah, you're probably not wrong, but positive thoughts. Come on, positive thoughts. We just really need these archers, like really, really bad. Which I mean, we'll get them in like two turns, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is <laughs> this is probably just GG. You never know, though. Maybe maybe it'll be okay. I'm going to settle this other city, though, right now. Uh-oh, he sees it. I shot an arrow in well, hang on, though. Archer time. We can research bronze working, too, because why not? I think we're probably going to get... A, are we in a dark age now? Reset? I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i honestly not sure if I'm sold on the reset yet. <laughs> Alright, if we lose this city down here, though, it's definitely, it's definitely reset time. <laughs> Alright, you can die. We have a bit of a barbarian problem as well. Not sure if you've noticed. Oh my god. Okay, I think... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely restart. We got owned. Uh, it just happens sometimes. Sometimes we just get owned. Sometimes I'm just really bad at Civ, and it's every time that I stream. From the first stirrings of life beneath water the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Jeez, I know, those now barbs. Barbs are a little, a little nutty. It's not just me, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll play someone else that's not Persia. If, like, this one fails, maybe, maybe we'll switch it up to somebody else. It's the chat, they're dead weight, bringing you down. Yeah, yeah, blame the chat. It's all your fault, chat. It's actually a decent spawn, though. Oh, Petra City over Petra Canal. Actually, we can't do Petra Canal because it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's too close. Oh, this is this is. I guess wait. Actually, we could do Petra Canal right there. Petra City right here. Boom. We're doing it. 
I actually, I like this spawn quite a bit better than the other one, just because I have lots of seaside resort spots. So let's see. Let's all right, chat. Place your bets. Are we gonna meet Chandra Gupta, the Zulu, or Monty? It's definitely gonna be one of them that we're probably gonna meet on like turn three, or maybe Yerevan. Sure. Yerevan's a really good city state, but I don't really care about them this game because I'm not getting a religion. When you find yourself... Hattusa, also a good city state. I do care about them slightly more. So we want to get there. So I guess we'll get, yeah, we'll get pottery right now. There is also evidently at least somebody else over here, because we didn't get first meet on Hattusa. City there, definitely. Hey, Kiku. How's it going? That is best. All right, get that and that. Actually, we don't even. We can maybe run urban planning this game because we are. We have. We got first meet on Yerevan, so we already have faith per turn. <laughs> Man, there is a ton of tundra here. Somebody has built the Great Bath. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Our warrior just got hurt by that blizzard. All right, let's go. Let's go settle the Petra city right now. <laughs> Only four. Four what? Oh, yeah. Oh, for restarts, yeah. Yeah, we haven't had that many restarts, but like. We definitely haven't been playing well. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. Who's that? Egypt? I think that's Egypt. It is indeed. Hello, Egypt. Alright, let's get our free settler here. Get out some cities. I'm gonna go settle this one next, because that's like a really good city spot, actually. Well, it's not really good, but it's it's at least decent. Bum 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 bum. And let's see, let's see what's up in Egypt land over there. I mean, I guess maybe we could kill Egypt. Might be a bit of a stretch. I mean, they don't have very defensible land, which is good. They also have Marianu chariot arches, though, which is not good. Because those things, those things are pretty good. Your Persian rip culture. Writing is easy. That's the positive aspect. <laughs> oh, that must be the top of the continent over there. Oh, this guy's a little low. I'll back him off in one tile and then just rest. Get him a promotion so he doesn't die. I don't actually want to rush that, though. So there's that. We can get a decent campus. Let's just get the campus down now, I think. That way we hopefully don't fall too far behind in techs as we just spam out some settlers and stuff. That guy died. I want open borders. Can I have open borders, ma'am? 17 gold, sure. What the heck. I kind of just want to be able to scout out her cities. So that way if I eventually want to attack them, I will know where they are. How come I'm not taking Divine Spark if I'm going for Culture Win? Because, I don't know. Ever since they nerfed Great Works of Writing, I don't like it quite as much anymore. Whenever I catch your stream, I get happy. Oh, well, you know what? I get happy whenever you hop into the stream. So look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, let's go settle one over here. Maybe... I guess there. Zhubip. More settlers. When in doubt, settler it out. And what? Why would you declare war on me? Oh, that's why. I was gonna say. I was like, you have nowhere to attack me from. But yes, she does. Right down here. That's fine. We'll fight her. All right, fine. You can deal with that barb encampment yourself then. 
I mean, this guy is, like, big dead. <laughs> He's just walking through her land anyways, so, like... It's not even his fault, really. Oh my god, they haven't they haven't caught the builder yet. Run, builder, run! Oh, they're definitely gonna catch him this turn. Oh my god, they haven't caught him yet. <laughs> will, will, will I actually get a free builder out of this? I may. Alright, um... We're gonna want a traitor. Okay, well, the warrior died, and that's all that really matters, because now they don't have a melee unit to take the city, so... Run, Builder! Alright, I mean, this is scary, but it's fine. Oh, he's getting, he's getting cornered. <laughs> okay, now this is really scary. Because there is indeed a warrior there. I think we've lost that city. Something tells me. Yep, the city is gone. You really hate to see that one. Upgrade that guy into an archer before we lose the city. Uh, chat, we just we can't play today. We're just playing like absolute garbage. Maybe 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 we just need to change the sieve. Should we change the sieve? I mean, it's gonna rebel, but like, not for 140 turns. And now it somehow has full loyalty. Like literally, right next to all of my stuff, it has full loyalty. I don't know how that works. It just doesn't make sense. It's losing 8.8. Other effects. I wonder what the other effects are. Maybe she has Victor somewhere. Too greedy with the settling? No, that wasn't even greedy with the settling. It was right here. <laughs> but alas. Play Nubia? No, I just played Nubia like for the one video. With your luck today, play Germany. You know what? Sold. Let me change the stream title so it makes sense. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. When in doubt, Germany it out. Am I right? Alright, add another city-state. Let's go, come on, Germany! So, for those of you who have not watched stream before, you all know that Germany is a meme. I, actually, I don't know. At this point, I feel like Cyrus is even more of a meme than Germany for me. The great beast yeah, see, chat loves Germany, because I get the worst luck when I play Germany. Steps. You have come far. Now we shall all suffer together, lads. At least now we are the great holy, o the holy Roman Emperor, so if we see Jerusalem, Deus Volt. Heroic Frederick, King of the Germans. Your task is to forge All right, let's lose again. Let's lose again. I forget what the Hansa does. This spawn sucks. No hills. Restart. Well, we're about an hour into the stream, and we haven't really even uh, done much. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. But now, it's Germany time. Let's go. Man Germany is an insane city. Steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization. Germany and restarts. Name a more iconic duo. Play Macedonia. Uh, I'm actually pretty bad at Macedonia. Actually, no, I'm I'm okay with Macedonia. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Macedonia. Oh, oh, it's tempting. It's almost good, but just barely not quite. At the same time, though, I feel like it's okay. If nothing else, we could always, like... We could, like, aqueduct. Ah, uh, no, wait, we need rivers. I forget. The Hansa gets bonus from... Two production from each adjacent commercial hub, aqueduct, canal, and dam. One production from each adjacent resource. Then from... Okay. So we want to have... We want to be along a river. Yeah, that, that spawn wasn't bad. 
but I just want to be along a river. Saxy and it starts like some rare bird who just won't eat. It's so true, though. This is just me whenever I stream, though. Alright, chat. Place your bets. How many restarts do you think it's going to take before uh, before we get a decent game as Germany? We're already on three, right? I think we're already on three. Heroic Frederick, King of the Germans. Your task is to forge the independent states that surround... 13? I hope not. <laughs> it might be happening, though. Alright, well, this one's equally terrible. I mean, it's got a lot of rivers. Oh, actually, maybe this isn't bad. No, this isn't bad. Alright, you know what? Here we go. Alright, let's go mining first. Let's get a scout as well. There's a cultural city-state right there. Kumasi, all right. Kumasi's actually a decent city-state. Giant's Causeway, also kind of good. That's the one that gives you the uh, the extra combat strength when you move a unit next to it. We also met Akkad. Akkad is a good city-state. We also met China. Hello, China. All right, all right. Good land over here. Good land. That's that's what you like to see. At his best. All right. Uh, I guess we do need to run God King if we want to get a watch my call it. When you find yourself. <laughs> So there's China over there. Over a that away. How is he having a good first few turns? Hey. Don't say that just yet, Cyrus, because there's plenty of time for it to go really, really bad. So let's see. Where am I going to want my Hanses? So maybe I'm thinking what I do is maybe like... Hansa... Commercial, commercial, Hansa, and then Aqueduct. I mean, that right there is an insane Hansa spot, because that'd be plus one, two, three, four, five, and then I can even get six with a thing. But I guess this right here, this is still one, two, three, four, this is actually a plus seven, so that's like, that's still better. This is good land up here. I like to see it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, good land. Good land. So I guess that means we're going to have a city probably like over here ish. Maybe another one. One, two, three, four. I said one there, maybe. I want one down here, though. So wait, one, two, three. So this one has to be repositioned. One, two, three, four, maybe. And these guys can combine their stuff. Some tasty Petra, Petra spot. That's not even good for Petra. There's no hills or anything there. Alright, let's also switch off of this. Switch to foreign trade. <laughs> Oh, this guy almost died. I think he'll be alright, though. Oh. So, let's see. Let's see what we also want to settle. One, two, three, four. That's a good spot. So, I mean, honestly, I could, like, settle one. Maybe settle one there. One, two, three, four. One there. One, two, three, four. One there. We, of course, have to get rid of all of these three million barbarians that are up there, but I think we can do it. Where's there a goodie hut? We just found one, but where? Hello? My blind? Oh, there it is, right there. We've boosted our knowledge towards mysticism. Oh, boy. Oh, Mvemba. Ew. Gross. God, these barbarian. Oh no, our. <laughs> I think that guy's probably dead. He's stuck. Hello, where's our settler? Did we not just finish a settler? Oh. 
What happened? I'm confused. Why did it switch off settler? Oh, good luck, pal. Good luck. Hopefully that guy doesn't die. He very well could. We also should fix the, uh... Oh, he's still... He's holding out strong. He's definitely gonna die next turn, but... <laughs> ah! Oh, wait. I just realized that's not possible also because of that... Where this city is. One, two, three. So this would have to move over somewhat. Oh, this is tricky. So if I move this in one more, I could move this here. Oh, that's actually such a good spot, though. I guess I could do here, though. Because then... Boom. Ah, uh, the scout. He's about to meet his match. The end of his days. He's he's bit the dust. <laughs> We're getting obliterated by these barbarians. <laughs> There's just too many of them. Ah! Leave me alone. Alright, let's get a slinger. We definitely need a slinger. We can't send this guy out to do anything just yet. Alright, let's switch to that as well. Switch to some agoge. Rip Dora. Yeah, Dora the Explorer. Just died. Now we're gonna get all of our things, our improvements pillaged, probably. Bing, bing, bing. We need some more settlers. Oh, of course, now not only do we have normal barbs, no, we have horse barbs. This is so, so just terrible. Alright, well. Second city out. Everything's just going to get ravaged by horse barbs for the next 20 minutes now. Luckily, the city states seem to be helping us out a little bit here. Please die, sir. I want some early empire. Who do we want suzerainship of more? I guess we want... Uh, none of them really matter. I guess, you know, let's let's just go for Kumasi. We'll trade with Kumasi. See, I mean, like, Akkad's a good city-state, but we don't really need them this game. I'm fond of pigs. I think we're going to settle that city next. Oh, that was a lot of damage, that horse barb. Jeez. I'm sure that farm's getting pillaged. Oh, maybe not. Prove me wrong, why don't you? Can we still get a free settler? No, somebody already took that one. Um, we could take Divine Spark, I guess. Get that extra great scientist points. Maybe not a bad idea. I don't really like fertility rights as much, so yeah, let's just go Divine Spark. I just like me some religious settlements. That's my favorite one. Go and kill the camp. Yeah, I'd love to go kill the camp. Uh, I need to get some more troops, though, and maybe upgrade the archers. Whenever I do that, though, I'll be able to kill the camp. Oh, this guy just stole the good campus spot, jerk. Alright, let's build some more military units, why don't we? Nowhere for us to really build a... Oh, let's actually, let's get a trader over here. Actually, I'll, I'll buy a trader, what the heck. I'll send it to Kamasi. Boop. Boost my knowledge of currency a little bit. I think this guy's gonna step up here. Oh, that's gonna... It's gonna ruin our ability to settle over there. See, this is like the problem. You have to be so fast with settling and stuff. 
Gotta get these cities out. Claim our land. Otherwise, we're gonna have to fight for it, and I'd rather not fight for it. Because that's hard. Upgrade this guy real fast. Hopefully our warrior doesn't die. He might. Okay, he's not dead. That guy gets one shot, so who cares about him? Well, Ugh. God. Barbarians, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we can't build settlers right now. We just need 30 million archers. Now we're in a dark age, so we can't even settle near our own capital. That's that's just irritating. Alright, everybody please just die. The Mongols, they are invading my lord. They pretty much are at this point. Alright, we'll just go settle that city, because... It's better to settle something than to just walk around with a settler for ten years. Oh my god. Look at this cheese. This is literally like the definition of barbarian cheese. It was luxuries like. Wait, I thought we planned to have another city over here somewhere. Didn't we? Oh yeah, it was right here. Alright, well actually we'll go settle that. Oh, we should get that uh goodie hut. More archers, more archers. We want Pingala today. At least China isn't declaring war on me. Don't say that yet. Don't you dare. You're gonna jinx it, Cyruscus. Okay. We have some room to breathe now. The only problem is these cities that we're founding here are just really, really terrible because they're in the desert. <laughs> Now we can move up on the camp, though, so. I kind of scout everything out. Got a builder. We can do something with him. We need a campus. Guess we'll just put it there. We at least get plus one. Our science is really bad right now. I'm also in. All right, there we go. Closing in on the camp, finally. Now we can get our settler over here. Oh, we actually have iron. That's that's a, that's a step up from the last game. China's friendly with me, so you know what? Let's declare friendship with him. That's a three production desert hill, though. Yeah. Oh, right there, actually. Yeah, dang. Oh, it must have flooded or something. Oh wait, how is, how is it 3 production? It's actually more good land over there. We can go put a mine on that one. We've met... Vilnius, more culture. We're getting, <laughs> getting some good cultural city-states. Alright, the barbs are gone. Thank God for that. Jesus. These ones, you're next. And Mvemba is very glad that we're removing the barbs. Maybe they've been harassing him too. Oh, we got a free tech? Yo. Oh, I really want to settle over here. That's like a super good spot. Oh, there we go. Four production hill in the desert. Maybe, maybe we can Petra in that city. We also have, like, that three production. This is, these are some decent tiles over here. But I guess over here, what we're going to do is... Hmm, I don't want to get rid of too many of these resources. That's, like, an insane Hansa spot. <laughs> Surrounded by three resources. But, um... I mean, ideally, that's a good Hansa. So, honestly, maybe we could do this.
Damn there. Maybe that. That's pretty alright, I think. Get that guy promotion. You get a casual plus seven canvas in your game yesterday. They see that's good. This is this is a good one right here. This would be one, two, three, four, five. This would be a six. Alright, for now though, we'll just put down we'll probably put down a farm there. Alright, let's get rid of the camp before we do anything else. Alright. Finally, we are doing things that isn't just getting wrecked by barbarians. We might take a cod. It doesn't really offer us all too much. And, like, it's in a good spot. It has. It's like, that's a good city spot, so... Alright, perfect. We've lived. Let's get Researcher on Pingala. We are losing loyalty in that city, which isn't isn't great. Um, So the problem is, we need to grow up our population a little bit here, because we're going to have some loyalty problems otherwise, since we're in a dark age. Who is he getting attacked by? Is he getting attacked by Invemba? Oh, he is. Now you see, this actually might be like a cheeky opportunity here. To declare war on Invemba and take Beijing. If 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 uh, Invemba takes Beijing, then we might be able to sneakily get something out of it. So yes, this city is obviously having some loyalty issues. So for now, we'll just move Pingala over there. And we'll build a monument as well. Put that down. Go back to Kumasi again. I mean, so Beijing is, like, dying very fast, but there's nothing... There's nothing there to take it as of... Oh, Jesus Christ, the Barbarians again. Uh, here we go, round two. Alright, change you to a archer. Let's get that archer out as fast as we can. <laughs> Yeah, like Beijing is pretty much dead. Religious civs, I know. And Vemba's always really rude. He's a, he's just a real jerk. It looks like he's just trying to fend off whoever's coming in there. Oh, jeez. These barbs. Alright, we should fix this before we build anything else. I don't think there's anywhere else we can... No, yeah, there isn't. Um, I guess we just want Classical Republic. Because we're not really going to be fighting very much right now. Oh, I just accidentally closed chat again. I keep doing that. Um... I guess we go this and this. That as well. Um, I don't know what else. Probably Barb's attacking China too? Probably. I guess we'll go run Caravanseries. Get a little bit more gold. Alright. Let's finish that campus there. Fix that up. We boosted our knowledge towards Apprentice. I am not giving you iron. You are attacking China. Well, China's fighting back. China's kind of owning. I mean, not really, but like, kind of. Um, I guess we'll get iron working here. Actually, I guess we, we want to get the mathematics. We can get Petra and maybe Cologne.
Ah, uh, look, China's defended Beijing. They've done it. Good job, China. Oh my god. Okay. Guess what we have 30 million of coming back again. Yes, you guessed it. Barbarians. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess we have another camp we have to find. Hopefully, they could literally just kill the city this turn, I think. Or maybe they'll just kill my archers instead. Look at this cheese. Please just die. Right, well, that guy's probably gonna die, but... Honestly, he's done his job, so... Go settle over there next. Prediction restart? No, 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 no. All in all, this is still okay. Don't you dare go predicting no restarts on me. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. See, we're not going to lose the city to barbarians. We will be okay. I wonder if China will buy our iron, actually. Get some gold gold out of them, maybe. Alright, let's build a library there. Could become the Suzerain of Kamasi. Kind of good. Settle another one. Actually, wait, did we want to settle that there? Alright, whoever said restart, you might be right, just because I want to actually move this down one tile. I want to move this here, so that way we can go one, two, three, four and settle there. Everything is fine, Saxy2020. Yeah, it's like that meme with, uh... With the, uh, you know, like the dog that's sitting there and the whole room's on fire. And he's like, this is fine. Everything's fine. That's like, that's me when I play Civ half the time. Leave your bronze for iron. Settle near that wanderer. Yeah, we will. We still have a lot of settlers we need to get out, honestly. And we still might go for a COD and try to kill them. Because, I mean, we might as well use our plus seven combat strength when attacking city-states. Yeah, this is just an undo. It's not a... I'd rather settle there. Because now... We can squeeze in a city up there. Assuming that we can deal with the loyalty issues that are associated. We need aqueducts, actually, as well. Alright. Die. Die. Bring this guy over. This guy's gonna pillage my nice thing there. Oh, no, he's not, actually. It's for not being a total jerk, sir. Um, so what are we doing over here? I mean, I guess I technically... Hmm. I need to think of what I want to do here. Maybe in this city I just go... Commercial Hub Hansa. Actually, I guess we could pair it with Hamburg here. We'd have to steal some tiles. The alternative would be like we do like commercial hub. There's not really a great way to do this, is there? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that. So I mean, there's like no. Um. Let me think here. Too bad that's there. I think that's probably just our best bet, honestly. Because that way it boosts up that one. And it also gives us a little bit more over here. Wait, I guess we could put the haunt. No, that's, that's fine how it is. Okay. We do want a campus, though, here, too. So we're going to put the campus down. We do have to keep our science up. So right now our science is at 15, which is, like, not good. Oh, they got the old crouching tigers out. Remember, what, better watch out now. He's going to get owned. Little, little does he realize. Alright. We, no we no longer need to focus on production. 
finish getting our builder here. Let's find these barbarians and kill them. The Kakata has so much science. That actually is true. It has four sources of mercury. Jeez. Where is this camp? Is the camp gone? Did a city state? I think a city state killed the camp. It's really irritating that there's nowhere we can settle over here. I was so I'm so mad that they settled Beijing there. Cause this would have been another really good city, but Yeah, let's we are we are definitely gonna take a COD. I think we'll we'll do that. That's that's gonna be this current most important thing. Current priority. Number one priority. When are we taking Kumasi? I don't know if I want to take Kumasi, honestly. Because, like, this is actually kind of good. And, like, Kumasi's not in, like, a great city spot, so we don't really need them. Or, like, we don't need the city that much. We are going to need Swordsman if we want to attack. What's his name? Alright, we don't... Let's get Iron working. Bring some of our archers over here. We're going to need our warriors down here as well. Let's just build another settler. Actually, wait, we're going to need a battering ram to take that city. There actually might be more good land down here, I guess. I didn't think about that. We are getting close to the haunts of tech, I believe. Cod has the Danube River. You must tell. Oh, that actually is decent land down there. Alright. Class Square ends in one turn. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really much we can do here. Um, we don't have any resources to trade away just yet. Let's redeclare friendship with him. He already has iron, so he's definitely not going to want ours. Maybe we can sell our iron to him. We will give you 30 iron. Nine gold per turn deal. And I guess let's build a monument or something. So we are going to have to upgrade into two swordsmen right now. I guess I probably shouldn't have given away that much iron, but it's fine. Unfortunately, we didn't get the heroic age, which does kind of suck, but we are at least back in a normal age. Actually, let's go monumentality, because we are going to be building a lot of districts in this era, probably. So let's get to engineering. We also are going to want to get to apprenticeship, because once we start getting out these Hanses, it's going to be... It's going to be real good. Get one swordsman there. Oh, dang, that's actually... There's a lot of good land over there. Can we trade? Will you buy a gypsum? What would you give me? Three gold per turn? I'll take it. Um, let's go... City Center pretty much always wins, so we'll just vote for that. And Double Great, let's go towards, like, Great Scientist. One thing I wish they also added more of in Civ 6 besides a religious overhaul is an alternative leader DLC. Yeah, I actually would really like to see some more, like, alt leaders. Because, like, I mean, alt, alt, alt leaders are kind of cool because it ge a lot of the time it just gives you different ways to play the same Civs that, like, you already would be playing. So, it's just kind of fun. I'm only getting, I guess I'm getting two per turn, yeah, because I only have one source. We can probably take a COD with just what we have here. I mean, we have quite a few archers there. Get down that commercial hub. Bing, 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 and then Akkad doesn't have swordsman yet, which is actually kind of surprising to me. We are also... Um, oh, who do we get next? Maybe we get Magnus. Magnus and Akkad. Don't reinvent.
All right, I think we can declare war on them. I think we'll be all right. I mean, we get the combat strength boost against them, so if we're not... That actually doesn't do that much damage to the walls, but still, it's not bad. Let me try to kill these lads. And... Oh, did we not get... Oh, we need to finish... Uh, Finish the research there. How about George Washington? George Washington, was it Civ 5 that George Washington was in? I think it was. Without mathematics. All right, there we go. We got the city under siege as well. Okay, walls are down. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be able to take that, like 100%. And we want to get ourselves to apprenticeship now. <laughs> Alright, we can get some uh, improvements going over there. We need to think about what we're going to do for, like, a Hansa in this city. <laughs> I guess we could just do Hansa there. Hansa, commercial, because we're going to aqueduct there. So that actually is a pretty decent Hansa. And honestly, maybe even campus there. Let's go ahead and get the campus. Right, let's heal this guy up, just because I don't want him to die. We've got the city under siege right now, so we're not really in like too much of a hurry to like kill it. Get some gold from the pillage. And now we can probably just... Probably take the city this turn? Maybe not. Not quite. I guess we'll... We'll give that guy volley. And then next turn, we'll have the city. Ramses for Egypt? Yeah, I actually would like to see Ramses back for Egypt. And maybe like more like a domination-focused Egypt or something like that. I think that'd be cool. Boop. We've taken a cod. 36 turns per of Petra. I mean, that's not really that good, but like... I don't know. I mean, this isn't even really that great of a Petra city, but it's something. Hmm, 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 hmm. See ya. See ya. Hey, Dios amigo. Ah, oh, God, I just hurt my... I've been sitting weird. I hurt my hip. Not really. So we have to settle at least two more. Hey, Mbemba. No, 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 no. He's probably going to steal my good city spot over there, but... Honestly, that's fine, I guess. Can we become suzerain of both these guys? Oh, we can't actually. Oh, shoot. This is like literally totally free land over here. So we're going to want another city there. I think that's, yeah, there. And then one, one, two, three, four. Maybe we'll just settle like another one. Maybe like right there. That way we can aqueduct. Well, we see now that there's plenty of goody huts to get. What this game really needs is a Baba Yetu Easter egg. How would they add in like a Baba Yetu Easter egg? Right, we'll just get a campus there. I'm going to put some fishing boats down over here, I think. I don't even have the tech to be able to do that, actually. I just realized. <laughs> How much... How's the loyalty over there? Negative 15, so that's not really happening. We'll go set over here. We still need more settlers. <laughs> France could have Charlemagne. 
anytime you win domination with Shaka Baba Yeti plays. That, that, that actually would be kind of funny. Alright, let's get this guy. We might take Vilnius, I guess. Sure, you can have an embassy in our capital. Sure, you can have open borders. We are kind of... We're actually not terribly far behind in science. Got a decent number of great scientist points. I'm just going to hold my envoys for right now. And now, let's just sort by gold. At the same time, though, going to Kumasi is still pretty good. We get culture from it, too. We are definitely very behind in culture. Oh, somebody built Petra. Somebody stole our Petra. All right, well, let's get down the commercial hub there. And we'll get down our Hansa. Actually, hang on, let's get these, uh... Let's get sailing so that way our builders can <laughs> go and build some fishing boats. Restart. <laughs> no, we are not restarting for that. Vessel is large. All right, there we go. Now we can build our fishing boats. All one of them. I wonder what we'll find in the goodie huts today. Oh, this city needs more population before it's able to put down a Hansa. That's unfortunate. Seventy-three turns for a Hansa. Yeah, it's definitely not great. <laughs> what just happened? It sounded like someone just took like a pant. Oh, maybe we got faith from the thing. Hello, salad man. I don't really want to help him, Vemba. No restart. Mussolini. No, we can't put Mussolini in the game. I mean, we don't even have Italy in the game to begin with, so. Oh, great barbarians again. Oh, Babylon. I will take a scientific city state. He wants some of my marble, sure. How's he doing on science? 54. So he's still not even that far ahead. That is literally the worst great scientist in the game. Unless you're playing Saladin, then it's not bad. But For pretty much everybody else, that, that's so bad. Honestly, here, I think we just go... Hans a commercial. Get all that mercury there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be a plus six, Hansa. So we want to get Magnus to vertical integration because vertical integration will be insane with all these Hansas we're making. Come settle down here. We want at least one more. Let's get down the first of the Hansas right now. We got some gold. Maybe we can sell Saladin something. Saladin, you want anything else? Oh, how would you feel about 50 iron, Saladin? Nine gold per turn, sure. Deal. Alright, let's get a builder so that we can just chop. I'm sad we weren't able to get Petra, though. F in the chat for Petra. Once again, let's get a builder so we can chop. That's what we're going to do in the capital as well. We'll get a builder so we can chop that. Especially since we have Magnus there. Most of history showed that trying to recreate Rome came with mixed results. Yeah, I'd say that most people probably didn't have the best of times. Alright, there we go. We got a lot of era score from building one Hansa. Alright, um, let's get down some workshops. Let's 
put down the commercial hub first, I guess. <laughs> this barbarian quadream is really just, he's trying to swing. know what kind of text. I guess we, we're going to want Mausoleum at some point. So we have to get Harbors. Uh, let's build a water mill as well because we need some source of food in that city there. Another city. We're just going to go for an early builder. I don't believe in this. Hmm. Old Congress. Screw Sikhism. And we want let's get duplicate for marbles. Cause we have we have a few sources. Oh yeah, I guess we could have gone Mercury as well, since we have like ten Mercury. Oh citrus. No amenities from citrus. Fine then, I didn't want your citrus anyways. <laughs> okay, well. That was okay, we got did we get two Eurekas for that one thing? That's actually not bad. Do we have the whatchamacallit for mausoleum yet? Where is mausoleum? What what unlocks mausoleum? I never remember. Oh, we have okay, we have that. We are just gonna need to get down the actual thing though. I'm gonna buy I mean, I'm gonna buy a library, and I'm also gonna buy an archer. Just so we could kill this stupid quadrine. Okay, we don't really need colonization now. We don't need that either. Maybe campus adjacency and... Oh, what else do we want? I don't know. Maybe serfdom. Over here, we'll just run conscription, I guess? It was going to be culture with Cyrus, but now, now we've changed up. And now we are playing science with Germany. Yeah, we just kept getting me playing really bad as uh, as Cyrus, so we changed. And now we're playing Germany. Bum, 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 bum. And things are going much better with Germany. There is nothing but a plank. <laughs> it's funny, yeah, I know. It's funny, out of, out of pure desperation, we ended up actually playing, like, a decent, a good game as Germany. It's very rare that I get good games as Germany, but... Today is one of the days where it has actually happened. Yes, we are. We're gonna need some, uh... Actually, wait, we have farms over there. Never mind. Bing, 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 bing. We should offer some improvements down to Heidelberg over here, which has a ton of food, but pretty much no production tiles. Guess we could just build it a Hansa real fast. Let's actually, let's buy a water mill. Which makes all the rice and stuff give one extra food, because that's a lot of extra food. Get down yet another Hansa. Germany AI usually does pretty well. Yeah, the AI does pretty well, but I I, I normally don't. Oh, wait. Do you need to build Mausoleum on Flatland? Mausoleum. Oops, I just took a screenshot. Must be built... Okay, it doesn't have to be on Flatland. So first, let's just get down the Hansa, I think. I don't know, though. <laughs> I just realized our capital is only size 3. That's, like, pathetic. That's okay, though. We're getting out some farms. Get some more food. We still don't have the tech for... Yeah, we need that. We should get a water mill as well. 
I think we still are in need of one more settler, if I believe. If I remember, yeah, we need one for down there. We'll help Vilnius uh, take out these barbs. How about that? Two turns till the era ends. <laughs> Georgia game is coming up. Hey, I've never promised any Georgia games there. So you never know. It may be coming up, though. Just maybe. We'll have to see. Oh, shit. I forgot to buy a galley. I thought we had two more turns until the era ended. One is despoiled. <laughs> Don't disappoint. I, I'll try not to. I'll try not to. Alright, hang on. Let's, let's once again. We're gonna soft reset here, though. Just because I can get a Golden Age if I just buy a galley. I thought that we had one extra turn, though, until the era ended, so I didn't buy it. You have built great cities mm -hmm. of stone mm -hmm. and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles. Walls, though. Faith purchase walls. I, it's okay. I don't know. I just hate Georgia. Georgia is probably my least favorite civ in the entire game. Okay. Now let's not be stupid. There we go. Now we get Golden Age. There we go. Alright. Here we are in the Golden Age now. I don't even know if any of the Golden Age dedications are that good for this era. Um, that's good, but like, we don't really need it. Honestly, maybe just reform the coinage. Or maybe we do go Monumentality. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? I think we go Reform the Coinage. Because that'll give us more gold. And we're about to get, like, kind of like a big boost to our trade routes as we get a lot of stuff here. Oh, man. We actually would have rather had that great scientist, but... Hmm. Hmm. The amount of trade routes, yeah, yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was thinking, because like we're gonna get a ton of trade routes here. And then that's gonna kind of make it so that way it's equivalent of getting a discount on some things. Oh, he is losing Beijing. Normal people believe. <laughs> Let's get buttress so that way we can put down that one dam that we have slotted. Hmm. Hmm. Pound maker, hello. I don't really want your salt, sir. I'll take gold, though. What if I offer you 50 iron again? Eh? 11 gold per turn, deal. You interested in perhaps some quartz? 7 gold per turn, also deal. Alright, we need a builder down here. This guy can just kind of explore on his own. Use climate change to kill everybody. Well, we can. We can flood a, a bunch of stuff this game. It's actually some decent farmland down here, I guess, now that I look at it. Alright, let's get these traders out. I don't think... I think it's going to rebel to the Congo rather than me. But if it rebels to me, that would be sick. This is going to be... Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. I feel it's easier to make gold in Civ 6 than 5. I think I agree with you there. I guess one thing that we didn't think about is getting Roar Valley. Because by putting the Aqueduct there, we've kind of ruined our chance to get Roar Valley. Actually, unless does that count in his next river? I don't believe it does. 17 gold to Vilnius, okay. Oh, plus 8 Hansa, hang on. Before we even do that, let's, let's, let's get down the Aqueduct. 
Now we can get the dam there as well, which is really nice. Make it 80 gold per turn now. Very nice. I'd imagine the whole... Hmm. Hmm. You went back to it and it's a struggle in the early game. Yeah, I actually like remember like pretty vividly a lot of the time in Civ 5 being like bankrupt in the early game. Just like running totally out of money. Hmm. Hmm. We want to get to industrialization pretty fast here, I think. When do we get the policy card that gives us double uh, adjacency bonuses on our Hanses? Because then we can get literally, I think this is like a plus, so it's already a plus 8. This one's going to be a plus 10. And then once we get factories out as well, this is going to be like nuts. I guess we'll put a campus there. Alright, let's get rid of... Well, I'm not even going to bother getting rid of the farm there, because it'll just happen whenever we put down the Hansa. Let's go to Vilnius now. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, big flood. Of course, right as we're building the dam, we get a big flood. I feel like that happens every single time in this game. Every time I'm building a dam, the city will flood. Or the river will flood. And then once it's already built, it will never flood again. <laughs> but the demons told me to! Hi, Gerg. How's it going? Big Gerg. Right, let's get a workshop, I guess. Maybe a market down here. Hmm. Wish there was a bridge district. Yeah, I actually think a bridge district would have been kind of cool, too. I mean, like, canals are cool, but, like, bridges also would be kind of dope. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So if I'm going to put a aqueduct here... I mean, technically, I could put a canal there. <laughs> Just put a canal, and then put it like a Hansa here. Along with a commercial hub. Why not, right? That's That seems kind of dumb. I feel like over here, I just go Hansa, commercial. It's, gonna, it's not going to be a good commercial hub, but it'll be a good Hansa. Um... I also want to get a campus. Maybe I'll get the campus down right now. I don't actually have to think about that. Bridges are cool, but I don't see what they would do. Yeah, that is true since, like, land units can already embark and stuff like that, so. Also, a Sith, a Sith that settles at sea, I think, would be kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like it'd be weird, though. Can we sell anything to Poundmaker? Poundmaker, you want anything? Marble? You already got marble. Alright, you actually have a lot of the stuff that we have. I guess we still do need... We can get at least one more seller. Maybe we can get a second. Let's, let's build our one seller that we need. Anything else we can buy in this city? I guess we could buy a university. That's really expensive, though. I'll we'll buy a trader. Hmm. Hmm. You wish some naval units could launch landing parties for exploration? Like reverse embarking, leaves the ship defenseless at a caveat. That actually would be kind of interesting, I think. Oh my god. Plus 11, Hansa. Oh my god. That is going to be a juicy, juicy district there. I mean, I guess this game we weren't able to get like a Hansa like hexagon with a government plaza, which would make things even more insane, but still. Yeah, I mean, I guess we maybe could have if we... Maybe somewhere in there, but I don't know. 
Hmm. 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 If we take Kumasi, we could technically get one here. Because then we could go Government Plaza, Commercial Hub, Commercial Hub Hansa. Actually, wait, one, two, three. Ah, oh, no, it's just outside the range, so we couldn't actually do that. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Cargo planes would be neat. Yeah, cargo planes would actually be cool. Strategy required. You can't go around arresting the thieves. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get ready for this one. 100% industrial zone bonuses. So this guy now provides 16, and this will provide 22 production. <laughs> oh, it's so insane. It's actually just bonkers. All right, next government promotion as well. We get vertical integration on Magnus, which is going to be insane. <laughs> Um, let's go for, I don't know, maybe campus. Oh, and vote me for this, please. I will like some more trade routes. Just review what's around that plus 11 haunts, a sure thing. So what we have here, we have one, two, three, count them, three commercial hubs. So that's six right there. We also have an aqueduct there, which gives um, another plus two. So that's eight. Wait, how are we at 11? Now I'm confused. Because we get... Am I right? Oh, never mind. It makes sense. Yeah, so we get 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 4 districts. So 9, 10, and then 11 from the olives as well. Oh boy, production. Yeah, this is like... This is some, some big... Some chonky production. No, you can't have my Diplo favor. Get out of here. I still need to build Mausoleum. But it's hard because the city doesn't want to really grow. We needed to get it to size 4. I'm going to build a theater square. Because I do want to get my culture up a little bit so that way we can get civics a little faster. Thick Hansa, yeah, it's thick with three C's. This is one one chonky, chonky Hansa. I guess we can get another theater square up there as well. We could aqueduct to give this Hansa a little bit more bonus. Why not, right? When in Rome. <laughs> I'm gonna buy these tiles. That way I can put a bunch of farms there. Before the city state takes them. This one will go to Frankfurt. Whatever, I'll buy them all. Why not, right? Trade routes to your own cities gain 0. 0.5. Uh, that's actually not terrible. Not a terrible great, uh, whatchamacallit. Get a workshop. Ten turns till we get that. Oh, uh, Chin Chi Huang is the Susan of Kumasi. No, no, no. I want Kumasi. Jerk. We have caught up to a lot of people in science. Still, Mvemba's really far ahead. <laughs> Make that Hansa ridicky thicky. <laughs> I've never heard the term ridicky thicky. But I like it. I mean, I guess we could put, like, a government plaza, like, over here. Actually, right there is a good spot for a government plaza. It gives decent bonus to a few of those wonders. Or a few of those districts, I mean. I guess it, once again, does block out Aurora Valley if we wanted to put it there, but still. Actually, not really. Alright, we got this guy. We'll just save him for eventually getting Aurora Valley. All right. Now we can get down a harbor. We'll wait till the workshop's done, but we want audience chamber here definitely. We are going to get a theater square. 
Oh, we could put it. We could put it there. Why not? Because that way we can have a theater square there for the capital if we wanted. Plus seven Hansa. And here we go. Vertical integration on Magnus now. So this city is gonna have. It actually doesn't have that much. It might. It, actually, I guess it's because we don't have any factories yet, so it's not gonna get any more yet. We're getting close to the factories. Have I beat the game with every leader on deity? I actually don't believe I have, no. Oh, wait, we can put... I forgot that you can put two dams in the same city. I mean, I've, I've played a game as every leader on deity. I don't think I've won a game as every deeter, deeter, leader on deity, though. Alright, we are going to want an entertainment complex somewhere. I don't know, there are too many things that we have to build. We're going into a dark age as well, which, I mean, it's not great, but it's not really going to do that much. <laughs> Jai of Harmon and Tamar are hard mode on Deity, yeah. What can be labeled? I hate Jai of Armin. All that glisters is not gold. All that glisters is not gold. Often you have heard this told. I guess we can get a campus, just casually. Um, so we want this there. That way we can put... Because we want to keep the aqueduct there. Maybe we'll get Connoisseur on Pingala. The W in Tamar means winning. Yes, notice how it is absent. Ah, oh, someone's built St. Basil's Cathedral. I'm not really surprised. Uh-oh, Nuremberg. Hopefully there's no trials going on there. We can just build more traders. We can get traders on traders on traders. I guess that down here, let's get the commercial hub right now. And here, let's just get the aqueduct right now. And maybe we can appoint... What do you think, Liang? I think Liang. I, I generally like Liang. Liang's pretty dope. Off to Vilnius. We have a lot of gold. I guess we might as well build monuments in these cities because we don't really have much else to build because we just have a ton of production. At least for this stage in the game, we have a ton of production. Hey, right, we'll build our first set of walls. <laughs> It's only taken us this long. When your German friend says he's gonna get the mustard, oh no! Not okay. No, 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 Germany. You've tried this once before. Alright, there we go. Industrialization is done, which means big, big factory time. All right, here we go. Factory time everywhere. And then it's going to be coal power plant time. Once we get the coal power plants up, it's going to be pretty, 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 as they say. Because coal power plants, what is it? Coal power plants, coal pl plower plants, plower plants. Um, you get bonus production equal to the adjacency production bonus of the district. So this guy's going to get an additional 22 production. This one's going to get, what, 16? Climate change, so yeah, it's time to just, uh, time to melt all the ice. We can get mausoleum now. We are still focused on food over here in Hamburg. And now we are in a dark age, not great. What victory am I going for? Oh, science, of course. With production like this. Alright, switch over to Merchant Republic here. 
What do we want? I guess we want discounts on upgrades. We probably want gold discounts. Um, Might as well just run town charters, right? I don't think we really want any of this other stuff. Oh, bad actually. Robber barons could be really good as well. We'll hold it for a little bit though. 25% extra production in cities with the factory. That could be that could be pretty nuts. Alright, we should get through some of these techs over here. Just that way we have them researched. As far as this, I guess we want to get over here. We can make some alliances at this point. Maybe economic with you. Maybe we can make like, I don't know. Research. How about military? Sure, we'll make a military alliance with him. Maybe with you, I'll send you a delegation. You look like the type of guy that would love a research alliance, Saladin. And you. Uh, I guess we'll go cultural, right? Defcon thick. Actually, hang on, wait, we can rush, actually, Mausoleum with this great engineer. Filippo Brunelleschi. Blast. Blast. Build. Battle. Alright. Of course we're friends. I don't think... Oh, I guess I still have one more alliance that I can do, can I? Plus seven. Hanza. And that makes it so there's only one turn left. <laughs> this is going to be the first time a Germany game has gone well. The first time on stream ever, yes, that we are like this dominant in a Germany game. We're not even really dominant, but like this is going very, very well. Are you? Am I going to see history being made? You're about to win a domination victory as Aztecs. That's pretty fun. There we go. Plus 16 production over here. We definitely want us some more factory goodness. I don't believe we can put Roar. Yeah, there's no no spots for Roar. We need to have a factory. I think we can put Roar in this city. Which is still, you know, it's something. <laughs> Only 22 production. Do we actually have coal? Okay, we do. How many sources of coal do we have? I actually love that they added in the search feature. That's actually like super helpful. We have one under a cod. Oh, we don't have very much coal. We only have one source. Will we be able to run all of our factories? I don't know. All right, we'll replace these things with farms because we can get a little bit more production out of that than, a f than otherwise. Ting is feeling a bit easy, even with Mapuche. Moving up to Emperor for your next game. Yeah, once once you start hitting Emperor, that's where you actually start to feel things like a little bit more in terms of like the difficulty. But still, Emperor is not too bad. Once once you hit a mortal, that's whenever you really start to feel like the the effects. The real use of gunpowder. The real use of gunpowder is to make all men tall. Nothing shall stay in the way of production and climate change to war for coal. We could go to war for coal, however, I don't think I want to. Sure, I'll make a religious alliance. Oh, Scythia. Scythia's in the game. Oh man, Poundmaker has scouted a lot. Oh, I didn't realize he was even on this continent. He has the same luxuries as us, so is this... Oh no, okay. It's all pretty much one continent except for the Congo. That's actually kind of cool in a way, but... Wow, he scouted a lot. You 
just not Actually, thinking. I guess over here, before we build that, we can get down our aqueduct to get more production bonus. Begun the Cold War has. You are my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Uh, how about the uh, the fact that they released the trailer for the next season of the Clone Wars? That's kind of hype. I actually I don't believe I ever finished like all of the uh, the seasons of the Clone Wars that were originally out, but now is the time. Now is the time. If you have an army, now is the time. We are being held hostage, Sector Seven. Let's go minus 50% production here. And let's go bonus towards industrial zone buildings. Thought about any ideas for my April Fool's Day video? Not yet. Much Not yet. Jump, boom, 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 boom. We could 11 turns for a University of Sankor. I mean, I guess we could. Or we could Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is like probably just better. I do have to watch the time here. Oh, we could Great Zimbabwe. 13 turns for the Great Zimbabwe. I'm down. Let me check the time. Alright, I'll probably stream for maybe 10 or 15 more minutes here. Is Magnus still the best after the 50%? Um, you see, I don't know about that. I, I don't... I still like him because I like the Settler spam a lot, but I I don't think he's near as good. I think Pingal is really good starting. So 592 there. Nothing we can really still there. Five they both have must have like almost identical amounts of gold. Let's go spy on Mbemba. Let's get aquaculture. Where is Liang? Let's put her over here in uh, Hamburg. We can get some fisheries. Just one more turn, I know. Like normally, I'm like pretty hard set on my uh, my stream end time, but today I'm I'm enjoying playing Germany so much that I never thought I'd say those words for one. But I don't want to stop. Let's get a granary. Do I think there will be another major DLC for Civ? This is a question that gets asked a lot. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so because I feel like if there was going to be, they would have announced it by now. But that's literally like my only logic behind that. So maybe, maybe they will, but probably not. I think. Bring, 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 bring. Civ Seven income. Yeah, like honestly, like I, I, like no joke. I feel like Civ Seven will be the next thing that they announce. How much production do we have? 102. It's still not like that much. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> or Civ Rev 3. Ew. No. Please no. <laughs> I I actually I played Civ Rev like very very briefly. I don't know. I guess it was fine, but like. Wow, they just nabbed my spot for University of saint -Cor. I didn't like Civ Rev 1. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people like Civ Rev 1. Alright, at this point, let's just queue up a bunch of campus research grants in the capital. We'll just get big science instead. The AI were so whiny. Well, I mean, the AI are really whiny in Civ 6, so... They must have transferred that over. Uh-oh, somebody's built something. Alright, we can build more districts than the population limit allows. I guess we'll use it once in the capital. I really don't know where else to use that, though. 
Yeah, let's just buy some tiles here because we have all this gold, so we might as well get more food. Operate at two levels higher, why don't you? Alexander flexing onto the screen. <laughs> oh, Alexander. If facts don't fit the theory. If facts don't fit the theory. Change the facts. Alright, we want to get the chemistry pretty soon. Where else can we give one additional district slot? Maybe Alm? I don't really know. I'm not a huge fan of that great uh, great engineer. Oh, this is actually kind of good, though. We'll probably buy this guy if we don't get there. I guess we should probably build a Hansa down here. And we're about to finish Roar Valley, so that's pretty dope. Which is very fitting because we're playing Germany. Somebody. Oh, we're at war with Scythia. Oh no. Tragic. The industrial heart Flight for nukes, I mean planes. Beast. I mean, that's. We can we can nuke uh, the Congo maybe at the end of the game. The population of the Ruhr area. And to be burr, burr. By the Finish this game next week? Yeah, I actually think I will. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I'm going to get this great uh, engineer, and then that'll probably be it for the stream. I want to get him now, just because I know I'm not going to remember to next week. <laughs> if I if I don't get him now, I'll definitely forget. Let's get these big production bonuses in a lot of cities. Scythia. Uh, my guess is Scythia probably declared war on someone that we're allied with, so we ended up at war with them. Alright, let's send some trade routes to China since we are allied with them with an economic alliance. Have I ever tried the real building upgrades mod? I have not. Oh, we have had our thing sabotaged here. That's. Sure, we'll, uh. We definitely are going to need some spies here with how, like, thickly packed our districts are. Alright, so we have to change off of this. We literally lost, like, <laughs> so much production there. Alright, actually, let's get rid of that from the queue. Let's build a spy. We'll put the spy in the queue, I guess. Send out some more trade routes. Alright, we could probably still hold out at least one more turn. We need to actually put mines up here, though, since we built Roar Valley. <laughs> you feel bad for Bember? He has a strong chance at a culture victory, but it'll be too late before it happens. Yeah. Hey, look, we built Great Zimbabwe. A wonder that I almost never built. Oh shoot, are we losing coal? So she turned and went to her own. Oh we are. Yeah, we have we have too many factories. We don't have enough sources. <laughs> Fortunately, the only sources of coal that we have are like over there. Oh, we're at war with some city states now. Who are we at war with? Babylon has declared war on Leventa. Oh, Leventa has declared war on me. And Suleiman. <laughs> See, now I'm at the point where I pretty much just want to... Here, I'll, I'll do the send aids. That way we, uh... <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to send this man some aids. <laughs> oh, she has negative 600 points. She's probably taking some of his cities or something. Alright, let's just buy this guy. 
All right, and we'll use them, and then that'll be it. I guess we'll build medieval walls, I guess. So all of our factories are going to get two additional, or four additional production, because we can use this twice, right? Because this is... Factories provide plus two production, yeah. So we'll put them down here, since that's a fresh... A fresh industrial zone. So we don't even need to finish that. We can just switch over there. Let's get a market. Um, I guess we'll put some envoys into Vilnius, because Vilnius is pretty dope. Looking to just get some more gold there. Sending aids, SMH, I know. This is a uh, not safe for work Civ stream. Alright, and we want this guy to just protect Aachen. I guess we'll put him in that commercial. We'll put him in Aachen's commercial hub. Because he protects all adjacent districts as well, so. Sure, we'll build Oxford. And now, bloop. Bloop. Alright, we'll just use them again. And now we get additional production from all of our factories. How much production do we have? We still only 102. That's still not that much. Actually, wait, it's about to go up though. Because I forgot that the thing was pillaged. There, we'll go to University of Sancor, because why not? Where am I from? I am from Pennsylvania in the U.S. Germany didn't think uh, didn't think I'd see this for a bit. Yeah, you know, you know my feelings towards Germany, but today it's actually going really well. What's the deal with the oil power plant? I think the oil power plant is nowhere near as good, right? Oh yeah, it just gives three production as an aura. So we are at 120 production here. How about Frankfurt? Frankfurt's probably 78. Almost like 75, 38, 82. Where in PA? Around the Pittsburgh area. Relatively. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> That's the, the, the closest of the major cities. When am I going to play with Cyrus? Uh, I started this stream with Cyrus, but then miserably failed and rage quit and started to play Germany instead. So maybe next week I'll play Cyrus again. Attempt. Attempt two. But I think that's where I'm going to end it here for today's stream. I'm going to save this because we will we will finish this game next week's stream, um, which is pretty dope. Zach Rhodes, can I build a reactor? Uh, that's, a, that's a big fat no for me, Chief. <laughs> oh, my. This guy just from Penis Vampire Land, Pennsylvania. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Brian, it's been a long time. You've just hopped in. I'll just sit here on the screen and talk to the chat for, like, a few more minutes before I leave. <laughs> if he's going to play with me, he needs to take me on a date. Oh, Cyruscus. Yeah. Maybe maybe someday. Maybe someday. Do, 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 do. <laughs> So, Zach is someone that I know in real life. He just texts me. He goes, got that shout out. Yeet. Yeah, everyone go subscribe to Zach. He doesn't, he's not actually like a anything, but, but yeah. All right. That's where we're going to end here for today's stream. Uh, we're going to continue this game as Germany next week, probably. And I think we should be able to win this one. If not, then that's going to be kind of sad, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been fun today. We actually had a successful Germany game, which doesn't happen very often. So, uh, yeah, but thank you for everybody to watch today. And I will, uh, well, so there'll be a video coming out on Monday. Probably one on Friday as well. I think that's going to be like my general schedule for the semester is just Monday, Friday. But aside from that, I will see you next Saturday for another stream. So peace, people.